Hello, welcome back to a, one of my uh, grading tutorial. This will be a real quick video on just some simple tip on uh, estimate the size of the flaws. Uh, whenever you look at a picture on eBay or any website that you know the comic books are being shown, often you see it's hard for most people uh, to estimate the size of the flaws, but one thing that you can do to help yourself is understand the size of certain things on a book that you can then use to guesstimate the size of the flaws for example I often use the, the code right here to um, estimate the size of the flaws and the thing is the code changed in size over the years okay so able to understand the general size of them uh, from each decade from the golden age to silver age to bronze and to copper by knowing the size that they can be or, or usually are then you kind of be able to know the size of the floor so example look at here you have a copper book this right here is about half an inch okay the side right here is about half an inch so whenever I see a picture of you know a mid 80s books uh, late 80s I kind of know that you know this right here is about half an inch so when I look at a picture I then estimate the flaws I see somewhere else based on what I know is what is half an inch you just have to train your eye to be able to estimate and to me that's one easy way to do it sure if you know you know the dimension of the of the book this way or this way that's helpful too but even when you know the dimension of this thing right here of this side it's maybe seven inch what or whatever it is seeing a little crease might be tough to shrink down the size comparably okay so using the proxy of the barcode is I think easier so right here you have uh, a bronze book okay so take a look from copper to the bronze is shrink a little bit so for me when when I look at late 70s books early 80s even mid 70s I then look at the top part here is half an inch okay so this is half an inch compared to the half an inch here for the copper books all right and then uh, if you look at silver book uh, this dimension right here is at three quarter inch okay so I use that quite often most early silver A books that is the size of the book the code and then you can just estimate that this is three quarter inch and then use that to compare any creases or tear accordingly and then if you look at some earlier silver so this is early 60s okay and it's almost the same size but slightly smaller than the books here these are 50s DC early silver age and these I put out these two books and they are one inch this right here okay so now you know uh, you know so be able to use the the code as a proxy for size will, will be helpful in your grading skills. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Bye.